What's up guys, this is Adam with TAT Express. And in this video, I'm gonna be doing an inspection on front end and rear end suspension for a semi truck. I have the truck already up on the lift, so we're about to get this video started. If you're having any issues with your truck, not being able to stay in its lane, or if it's having some issues, rough rides, this video is for you, it's informational. Be sure to hit that like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you're notified when we go live, guys. Let's get right into this video. Okay guys, we're underneath the front of the truck. This is the front axle. Hendrickson is mostly the manufacturer for a lot of the heavy duty on highway trucks. I'm gonna just point out a few things that you look for. This Hendrickson is, is pretty much a beam axle. It goes all the way across, it's one piece. There is a leaf spring on both sides that, that has this uh, bolted onto the truck. With these leaf springs, you can see here that they're bolted onto a hanger that's on the frame. It's pretty tough to see. I'm gonna see if I can get you a closer view. But what you're looking for is there's a bushing in here that, that's in between this bolt. That bushing there needs to be uniform. There should be no pieces missing. You shouldn't be able to see bare metal. When you start to see bare metal, either on the front or the rear of the spring, that's gonna give you some front end play while you're going down the highway. Other things to look for is kingpin play. Uh, that's mostly when we just lift the front axle and we're gonna be checking the excessive play. Tie rod ends would, could be a big problem as well. And we're also looking at your drag link. Whenever you have high mileage on these particular trucks, we always recommend replacing the tie rod end assembly, not trying to replace just the tie rod end because trying to get these threads out of these older pipes, are gonna, they're gonna strip and trying to put new, new pieces on there is just not good practice. I'm gonna try to give you some close-ups for these bushings that are here between the hangers that we're gonna be looking for. But if you've ever inspected any bushings and you notice that they're rusted out, or they're not uniform, you could tell those big chunks missing. Those are indicators if you have a bad bushing. Another thing I'd like to mention, if you are doing suspension work, go ahead and get these springs replaced. Some of them have a lot of corrosion on them, so you don't wanna reuse them. Some of them actually, you lose their spring and you'll have kind of a slanted truck. Uh, another thing I'd like to mention is replacing these U-bolts. You wanna go ahead and just cut these off and replace them. Don't try to reuse them. And, so, and, this, and this actual angle on this particular bolt, you can actually see that it's a little bit crooked. And what happens is just, this is so much weight that the truck is on the front and the rear that these U-bolts over time start to, start to stretch. So I would not recommend reusing these. Um, your kingpins are gonna be attached here. Hendrix is coming out with different style spindles. You can have a two-piece spindle or a one-piece spindle. One, one way you can, you can uh, see is it's, it's kind of, all covered with road grime here, but you can see wedges here. These wedges are what's gonna show that, hey, this is a, a, a one-piece spindle, um, one-piece spindle, which is gonna be this section here, or a one-piece one knuckle. That's gonna indicate that this is a one-piece knuckle. There are, there are other ones, the newer ones have bolts so that you can actually bolt them loose and the kingpin is actually made on the axle. I see is, is gonna be a newer design and it looks like it just creates more stability because the, the pin is actually made onto, onto the axle itself. So now I wanna to move to the rear of the truck and I wanna point out some things to look for on the rear suspension, guys. This is the rear suspension. It's the same similar setup. You have a leaf spring that's connected to a hanger and the bushings here are what we're gonna be inspecting. As you can see, we have some, a lot of rust buildup on this particular spring. It's held on by U-bolts, just like the front, has different types of shackles on the top so that, that it can, so that it can actually grab the top of the axle. These type of axles are, are actually square. They're more, they're, they're larger axle. It's what houses all your gears, your differential, and all that. So it's a, it's a different style axle that's being held on there. The back of the spring is gonna be not held on as front as the front. It's just gonna have a bolt at the bottom and an air spring. That's how the rear of the leaf spring is connected to the truck, by an air spring. That's your, this is your air back here. And back there, as you can see, it's the same, the same style axle. This is called a half leaf spring uh, setup where you have a half of a leaf spring and the rear of the leaf spring is actually gonna be a, uh, an air spring that's bolted onto a hanger as well. It's supposed to give it a nicer ride. Ensuring you have good shocks is gonna, is gonna make sure you have that smooth ride. If you have bad shocks, of course, you're just gonna have a bouncing tire. As you can see, you can, this is where you're gonna start seeing your wear if you have wear on your bushings, wear on your tie rod ends and stuff like that. 
uh, on, on the steer on, for the tie rod ends. You have torque arms that are up front, or that are up on top of the, uh, of the axle as well. Those can cause you to have uh, some wear as well, but this particular cupping right here is gonna be from wear out suspension. This here is another sign of wear. You can see the cupping that's going on here. This is another sign of, of worn out suspension. I hope this information was helpful. If you guys have any questions, you can call us at 972-225-3017. We are located at 4140 Langdon Road, Dallas, Texas, 75241. Guys, this is some heavy work. Do not try to do this on your own if you're gonna do suspension work. You gotta have the right equipment. You gotta have the right guns to be able to tighten everything down, torque everything down tight enough, because if you don't, then you can have loose, loose suspension parts, which is very dangerous, guys. Guys, be safe out there. Till next time, be sure to like, subscribe to this channel. We're gonna be releasing some more content, and we're very excited about the new stuff we're gonna be sharing with you guys. Check out our merch, and until next time, guys, be safe.